What's up, everyone? Justin from Is It Scary, joined here tonight by my friend Gage, yep. and we are here to talk about Revenge Haunted House at the Chase Stone Barn in Sabisky. Now, before we start this review, the owner has asked me to mention that that is a takedown and put-up haunted house, which means they do not get to leave it set up all year round. So remember that when you talk about it. They have about three weeks to get things set up and rocking. That being said, this is another very quick, timely review, so you guys don't have to sit here for a half hour to figure out whether or not you should actually go. Gage, what'd you think about Revenge? I thought it was great. They had certain rooms that they actually kept from last year, say the three hallway, the doors. Yep. I love that. They kept that. Um, and there was another room that, uh, I, can I say it? You think I could? You can, Swear? you can, but don't, don't talk about it anymore. Um, there's this room that, uh, has spiders and, um, two things I, I'm pretty sure I said before spiders and dolls. They had both. And their spider room really got me the most. I even had heebie-jeebies. I was like, oh, gosh. Like, that got me. Um, but I really think that haunted house was, it was pretty cool. Um, I like how, like you said, that they have to put up and down. I like that for the fact that it's always fresh for some things. They keep some old things, which is okay. That that's that They kept the good things, which I like. They didn't have that doll, as I mentioned before last year. That's okay. Okay. Uh, Gage, end of the day, what do you rate Revenge? Um, I would give it probably an 8. What did you think about the mask and the costumes? Masks and costumes were great. I do want to mention, though, that whoever has been advertising it, like making memes and such and keeping in touch, they're doing an incredible job, and I really hope they keep it up. Um, we've talked with the owner. The owner actually responds to us. We've talked to other haunted houses. We don't get much of a review, and if not, nothing. But this gentleman, whoever's running it, I don't know. Do you know what's, what's his uh, name? Tony. Tony, Tony, he talks to us. Um, I love him. Uh, his all the memes that they make, excellent. They they are out there. They're trying to get their voice out. And I want to add one little note. When I was coming home from uh, visiting my mother, my grandmother in the nursing home, I noticed some stickers in the back of someone's truck. That is awesome because I love to see it. They're getting out there. All right, Justin, what did you think? So, uh, Revenge Haunted House for me this year, I don't know if it was the person I was going through with, if he was just moving a lot faster than we did last year. The actual attraction itself felt a little bit shorter to me than it was last year. However, my gripes from last year, a lot of them were mediated. So what I mean by that is um, they had an actor in the actual room where they take your ticket and then you have to wait in line not only did they have an actor taking tickets but they had an actor like doing line scares too which was really good so it didn't just feel like you know a 20 minute wait and bore fest you actually had some interaction which was awesome uh they put some new lights a fog machine they have the cool tvs that's awesome um and the actual house itself was pretty great I uh, really enjoyed the experience. It was definitely scary. And uh, so I remember last year, I really complained about the last room of the house. That being, they had a guy standing there with a chainsaw in front of you. It wasn't scary. You knew he was there. And it's just like, eh, dumb. And this year, the last room of the house, I'm not going to spoil it, but I am going to tell you this. It is one of the best final scares in a haunted house I've ever had really well done revenge you guys did awesome this year i am i am a um <clears throat> i'm a yeah i'm an eight i'm an eight out of ten this year the 15 dollars ticket price is well worth it take some friends go get scared uh they got pretty much indoor waiting it's really awesome and i think you guys will have a lot of fun if you like haunted houses if you like going to the different haunts around the green bay area it's at the chase stone barn in sabisky you know 20 minute drive from green bay not too bad 15 minutes check it out i think you'll really enjoy it i'm gonna turn you back to gauge for one more thing before we end this video i do want to mention there's a guy that scared the hell out of me um it goes to show that whenever someone jumps in your face and screams that doesn't that's not scary you expect it but there's this gentleman um he's in the room where you would move, move meat bodies and stuff like that. Um, he scared the hell out of me because he was quiet. I just want to give a shout out to him. Uh, I even gave him a high five at some point outside of the house. He's an incredible guy, an incredible actor. He scared the hell out of me, I can tell you that. It gave me a jump. And I want, I want to mention one more thing. That room, that you, the waiting room, I love how they added lights. It felt cool. They got good music playing and they got some cool videos. So uh, I think there's only one question to ask. Um, I think at the end of the day, you just have to ask. Revenge Haunt at the Chase Stone Barn Sabisky. Uh, what's the question, Gage? Is it scary? You tell us.